Hey guys, good afternoon, it's Callie. Today we're gonna continue with our Kanmari purging and we're going to be doing skincare and jewelry and hair care. Um, just lotions, creams, oils, and you know what? I'm also gonna do first aid just to kind of get through everything in the bathroom here with the exception of any electrical appliances like my curling irons and stuff like that so up top there you see there's some hair care I have this second shelf um, I have miscellaneous decorative bottles but there's some perfumes and soaps and hair care this third aisle here a lot of my essential oils again many decorative bottles uh, interspersed in there as well some body scrubs there's some first aid things just cotton swabs and balls and band-aids etc and then this shelf here is uh, various lotions body washes deodorants coconut oil mouth care um, shaving care things like that I have um, a basket down here that has various items in it, miscellaneous items. I also have in the, above my sink, I have some oils. And in the medicine cabinet as well, we're gonna go through everything in there. So we'll take care of all of that. And then when I'm done with lotions and creams, etc., we'll move on to jewelry. Uh, which I did not do when I did my accessories purge with clothing, but I do keep it in the bathroom, which I know is not a good place for it. So uh, here on the wall on this mermaid holder, I have some rings. I don't have a lot of jewelry. In this box right here on my sink, I have earrings. Uh, let's see. I also, sorry for the ride, you guys. I'll try to go slow. Uh, in this box, uh, which is underneath my toilet paper, right here, I have various things, uh, miscellaneous. Um, I have some bracelets here, and then you guys saw my nail polish yesterday, but on either side of that, I have hanging bracelets, anklets, uh, and also on this side. I don't have a lot of jewelry. I've pretty much purged a lot throughout the years, but that's where we're at. So I'm going to take all of this stuff out and my bathroom is much too small to do this in here. So I will drag it out uh, in the other room and we'll begin the purge. So I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, I got everything off the shelves. And as you can see, there is still a lot on the shelves. But these are all empty decorative bottles and I will be dealing with bottles in a separate category later on when I do home decor. But I pulled off everything related to our mission today and including uh, things that were in my shower, my soap and shampoos. Um, I've decided to wait for the jewelry because when I show you what I pulled out, trust me, we have enough to deal with today. And I also emptied the, um, down here, these bottles are also empty, as is our medicine cabinet. So, uh, that's just my toothbrush holder and some empty wire baskets. Now, let's see what's awaiting us outside here. I put a blanket down on the kitchen floor and uh, laid everything out. So let's see, I'm gonna back up here. I'll show you the kitchen table where I have, uh, that's my bathroom door, which I will be repainting at some point. Uh, look, here's the table. I told you I've, as I've been doing this, I've been putting all my home decor, things that need to be addressed on this table here. Some of it is for donation, a lot of it is not, but it's not time for me to deal with that yet. You know what it's time for? This. Oh my God. <coughs> Excuse me. You guys, I have a problem. Look at this. 
I, I really see why this method is so effective because it forces you to see how much stuff you have. This is one person, just me, little old me in the house here, and this is all of my bathroom stuff. I've arranged it kind of by category, um, and I've obviously not yet purged. I'm hoping this is going to be much smaller, but I don't know, based on the nail polish yesterday, but let's see. I have oral care here. I have soaps, including the soap that was in my soap dish. Soaps and body washes and facial washes. A jar of homemade soaps. My mother makes soaps. They're amazing. Body washes. Hair care like mousse and oils. Deodorant. Deodorant cloths. More hair care. This is a bag that I have um, like elastics and barrettes in. My two brushes, a wide tooth comb, uh, bath salts, bath salts, more hair care, conditioner, shampoo, shampoo and conditioner, conditioner and shampoo, uh, shaving stuff, razors, uh, shaving cream, my bag of essential oils, a bottle of uh, Halston perfume, a little apothecary jar full of perfume samples. I'll see if my daughters want them. Uh, bath powders. Powders. That bag in the back is all first aid samples and things like that that were in my medicine cabinet. Um, big bag of cotton balls. A smaller bag of cotton balls. Cotton swabs. Aspirin. Um, basic medicines. Eye drops. Peroxide. Um, I'm wondering where my isopropyl alcohol is. I don't know what I did with it. I probably put it with my craft stuff. But uh, glucosamine cream, creams, and then first aid stuff here on the end. Okay? So, you guys, I have my work cut out for me here. And when I get, I'm going to get purging. So, I'll see you back here when I get through this stuff. And like I said, I've decided to wait on the jewelry because certainly this is a big enough category for now. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be this bad, but it is what it is. I'm grateful that I was able to have all this stuff and hopefully I can thank and discard uh, a lot of it. So I'll see you back here when I'm done purging. I just wanted to share with you that I found the alcohol. I'm such a yin-yang. I forgot that behind the toilet... I had this shelf here, this three drawer sh shelf, and in it I had, oh, I don't know, four bottles of isopropyl alcohol, as well as the hot water bottle back there, that red, red hot water bottle, and another curling iron. So I put the curling iron with my other electrical appliances in there, and this drawer may come in handy or it may not, but that was the uh, mystery of the missing alcohol, so... Off to the purge. See you in a few. I'm just amazed at how much harder this category was than I thought it would be. This is the keep pile, okay? And while, you know, it didn't necessarily spark joy with every item, I'm considering these to be of practical use and I'm having a hard time getting rid of, you know, doubles of things because I use them. So, uh, if any of this stuff in this pile is not used by next year, I'll get rid of it. But these are things I use on a regular basis, and I'll, I'll show you what I'm getting rid of. But let's just go through what I'm keeping. Um, new toothbrushes. This little ceramic jar here, I keep baking soda in for my teeth. I just opened this thing of toothpaste. There's an extra, some mouthwash, um, some toothpick type of things, toothpaste for my grandkids, extra toothbrushes, the soaps that my mom made, we're keeping the hot water bottle, keeping the body washes, keeping the coconut oil and soaps, facial wash, these uh, soft soaps. Uh, I opened this, this was what I had my hair care stuff in and I went through everything, so here's a barrette and some clips, some bobby pins, some hair elastics, as well as my trimming scissors. Um, I have a wide tooth comb and two brushes. 
These were the soaps that were in my sink and bathtub. Again, soaps that my mom made. Keeping the deodorants. Keeping this whole box of hair care. It's coconut oils. I love this suave uh, Moroccan infusion oil. It's pretty cheap and it works great. Just some hairspray. A box of hair dye. And again, just like with my makeup, you guys, as I'm using these things up, I'll be replacing them with all vegan, cruelty-free options from now on. But I'm not going to waste and throw out product that I already have. So in the back, you'll see these are the shampoos and conditioners I kept. I swear by this Aussie 3-Minute Miracle conditioner. I buy this all the time, and I use this in place of any other kind of conditioner uh, in my shower. Here's some um, scrubs, and I love the jars. There's some peace of mind bath salts, as well as some uh, homemade bath salts. I didn't even take out my essential oils from this bag because each and every one of them sparks joy for me, and they're all, you know, within half to three quarters full. So I'm keeping all of those. Um, I have a big bottle of acid, pure acetone, which is, you know, if you wear glitter nail polish or anything, stuff works great. Here's some homemade fairy dust powder and glitter, some baby powder, um, some new razors and refills. A lot of this stuff I got while couponing, so I got it for next to nothing if not free. Some basic um, medicines. I keep these um, pretty much for Tom. Although, you know, basic headache medicines, eye drops, things like that. Baby aspirin. I take 81 milligrams of aspirin um, nightly. Cotton balls. Cotton swabs. Got to keep them. I'm keeping all these lotions because they're brand new. Although I prefer to use oil. Um, sometimes my kids will come shopping especially my youngest daughter will stop by and she'll pick up deodorant or things so i'm gonna keep those um i have more cotton swabs cotton balls there's all that alcohol um some first aid supplies in that jar and some bandages and bandage tape so that's the whole keep pile which probably doesn't look any smaller but and i'll show you what i'm getting rid of right here okay all of this stuff I will be asking my daughter if she wants uh, any of these uh, actually both of my daughters perfume samples um, as well as this bottle I don't I even remember where it's so old uh, and I've sprayed it and it smells like an old lady to me now so I don't know it's Halston so there you go and this bottle of hair gel. I don't use hair gel, so it's brand new. I'll ask if they want it. And these are just, this is stuff that lived in my medicine cabinet. And it, uh, I'm thanking it for its service. And I'm wishing it well. And it's going to go on its way. So there's a lot here, you guys. And there's a bunch of hair elastics. Um, that soap dish I've had for a few years and it's never sparked joy. It's going. I'll put it in the um, United Way pile. But everything else, all this stuff is going right in the garbage. So I thought about keeping some of the little bottles and things, you know. Because, oh, I could alter that. But it gets out of hand. And when you see how many bottles I have, uh, you'll understand why I'm letting all this go. So that's that. And I'll see you back here when everything is put away back in the bathroom. I'm going to wipe down all the shelves, wash everything down, and then I will be returning these. Um, and I don't think that I'll be using that, that uh, three drawer chest, which will be nice because I, I like to free up all these bins. So again, it's a huge keep pile, but it really drives it home. Uh, you know, how much stuff do we need? And I'll certainly keep all this in mind the next time I go shopping. Uh, <laughs> to try to replace anything so there you have it i'm letting you letting you see it all guys i'm not hiding anything so it's the only way to make any progress right we've got to face it head on so 
I'm enjoying it, but man, it's exhausting. And I didn't think this was going to be a tough category at all, but it has been. So not quite done yet. See you in a few. Okay, I just wanted to do one final review before I go to put things away. And I'll show you in the bathroom how I've cleared out the shelves. I put the hair care stuff away. I'll show you where that is. I purged a few more things. And this is our bag of garbage. And here's that empty three drawer case, which hopefully will remain empty. And maybe I could use that later on for my art supplies or something. Um, when I was clearing off the shelves in there, one of my favorite wooden shelves literally collapsed in my hands. And I debated on fixing it. I've had it for years and years, and this is the shelf I had my essential oils on. But I kind of took it as a sign that it was time to thank it for its service and move on. And I let it go. So I did put... I'm going to take you backwards here. Um, oh, there's that table. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Tom will be bringing me some more bins tonight and I can start sorting stuff out. But um, under the sink here is where I put the hair care items. And I'll show you. We haven't gotten to electronics yet, but here's my curling irons and some hot rollers. Um, I have this three drawer plastic thing. So I put my hair care, um, everything back in the bag, and then I purged another brush so I only kept one brush and one comb this drawer just has extra makeup brushes and I showed you yesterday we washed those so I put those in there and then this last drawer is my nail care so nail care and extra emery boards and those du the duplicates of the polish which if I don't touch those in a year they're gonna go I'll donate them so up here I'm just trying to, like, again, purge uh, different things because I'm going to have to address them as far as decor. But this is what we're left with. I took all the bottles off. I took all the artwork out. I'm going to have to get this. I'll take him off, too. I don't know why I left him. I will be redecorating when I'm done here. But for now, I put all the decorative bottles up top here. And... Literally, these are collections of things I've gotten at the auction, bottles I've altered myself, things I've had from the past, um, and I have more bottles, you guys. I have a lot more, so we'll get to that, but right now I left the prayer flags and everything else is bare. I'm going to use these two containers again to kind of house things, and I'll wipe those down as well. And for now, I just put this little shelf here, uh, in, which is in place of the other one, and that I think I'll put my essential oils on. So that's where we're at. The um, medicine cabinet is still empty. And oh, this is a little mirror, decorative mirror. Yeah, so I'll be back. So good morning, guys. I actually took a break last night, got some rest, and I'm back at it this morning. So I just wanted to show you what I'm going to be doing with my first aid storage. I took my stethoscope off the wall and put it with this stuff. Um, I cleaned out the... I was hoping that I wouldn't use this little cabinet, but I am going to use it. And it tucks away behind the um, toilet. I'll show you where I'm going to put it, but... So this is what's going in it. The world's biggest bag of cotton balls, some cotton swabs, that hot water bottle, some bandage tape, band-aids, gauze pads, cortisone cream, neosporin. I have some gluco glucosamine cream, which works really, really well for sore, achy muscles. Um, the alcohol, peroxide, and that's it. So I will put this all in here and then we'll bring it in the bathroom and I'll show you how the bathroom's looking. We're almost done, guys. Okay, I have everything arranged and I thought I'd show you before I put it in the bathroom. I've decided that this stuff here um, I'll be putting under the bathroom sink. I'll make a little space for it. 
I don't need to buy cotton balls for a year, but this will be going. Well, I showed you, I'll show you when we get in there, but here's some cotton balls and cotton swabs. And as you can see, I use Ziploc baggies for everything. I love to use them. They're really durable. They can, you can see through them, obviously, and um, they're great for containing things. So here's this drawer. This little organizer shelf I had had in the um, medicine cabinet previously. So that's that. And then this bottom drawer, I put my stethoscope in a plastic bag as well as the hot water bottle. So that's it. I'll see you back in the bathroom. So here we are, you guys. I'm really, really pleased with the way this came out. I haven't decorated again yet, and when I'm done with purging everything, I will be doing a complete cottage tour, but I just want to show you how it's looking for now. I was able to display my mom's soaps nicely. I used this really cool wooden sample case that I got at the auction to kind of corral the soaps and creams together. I have all my oils here. I actually put them in alphabetical order so I could see what I have and I'm sure it's going to be no surprise to anyone who knows me. I actually have five bottles of patchouli but this is a good way for me to see what I have, what I need to fill in and I was happy with that. We'll see how long it stays that way. And then here I just have some bag bomb and some tiger bomb, some things that I pretty much use on a regular basis. Um, he wanted to be there, so he's staying there. I corralled my hair care stuff. This box that says coexist was an old tomato crate. And then in this basket up here, I just put, let me see if I can get it. Um, you know, the razors and some extra things, shaving cream. So I still have all the bottles up there sorry guys and they will be purged when I do the bottle purge in the bathtub I just put shaving cream my conditioner a razor and some body wash and my little monster friend uh, wait did I put shampoo yeah shampoo and conditioner too and what else oh the medicine cabinet Really, really happy with the way that came out. I got rid of the toothbrush holder. Just, I wasn't sparking me. There's that little container of baking soda. Hello, little Van Gogh inside your medicine cabinet. Got rid of some bottles down there. And then for first aid, I told you guys Here's the toilet, and I just kind of have these um, little curtains hanging down. And so behind there is that shelf, and I was able to put the alcohol on there and the peroxide, and then that just kind of fits in right there. So that's that. And I'm super stoked, you guys. So next thing on our list is going to be the jewelry, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do that today or not, but if I do, you will see it. And stay tuned for more as we continue on through the KonMari method. Um, certainly is life-changing, and I feel better every morning as I look around and see what's already been done. It feels really great. Highly recommend it, you guys. Get to purging. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.